Hi, I'm Hazel and this is a look at the 28 new mounts coming to WoW in patch 7.3. In this new patch, we're going to Argus. Apparently, Argus has a whole bunch of animals that are just jazzed to let us gallop around on their backs. At the patch's launch, it's going to be a no-fly zone, so there's plenty of new ground mounts to get acquainted with. First up, the Fiends. We have four different recolors of Fell Fiend mounts that drop on Argus. Collect the Vile Fiend, Crimson Slaver Maw, Acid Belcher, and Bottletooth Nasher to complete your collection. They come equipped with a handy axe on their skulls just in case you can't open your brew or your letters or your enemy's rib cages. Next up, Mana Rays. We have five colors to light up our stables with. It's like the Nether Rays and the Spore Bat started breeding. I'm gonna stop thinking about that now. The Vibrating, Scintillating, Fell Glow, and Dark Spore Mana Rays are all drops from a Fell Spotted Egg. The Lambent Mana Ray, on the other hand, drops from a Mob. I'm hoping that's a high rate so that we can have at least one as kind of a gimme. Up next, we have Ruin Striders. Think Talbux, but angrier. Between the Umber, Sable, Russet, Cerulean, Barrel, Amethyst, and Bleak Hoof Ruin Striders, we have seven colors to get. If you were on the brink of a mount collecting achievement, I'd say this ought to push you over. Six of them can be bought off a vendor once you're exalted with a new Argusian Reach faction. The last, and arguably coolest one, the Bleak Hoof Strider, is a reward from the And Chew Alterac Swiss achievement. It looks like you're going to need to kill some big bunches of demons to get that guy. The Maddened Chaos Runner, I guess, is technically an eighth color of these, if we're counting. This one looks a lot like the Bleak Hoof Strider, with a very slightly different coloring and no saddle. If you are a bareback kind of Strider Rider, this mount is the one for you. It wouldn't be a Draenei planet without some Elix. These ones do not disappoint. We have the Glorious, Avenging, and Blessed Fell Crusher. The Blessed One is really just magnificent. These are listed as dropping from the Gleaming Footlogger, which is the Paragon rep cache for the new Army of Light faction. The Antoran Gloomhound and Charhound will join the ranks of the Core Hound as puppies that probably don't play well with children. These new hounds will look really familiar once you get a couple of bosses deep in the new Burning Throne raid. The Charhound drops from Shatug in the raid, while the Gloomhound is the reward for Glory of the Argus Raider. These babies can fly, those wings are not just for show. The Shackled Urzul has been terrifying us for a couple of PTR builds now. I'm kind of glad that they have not decided to go for any recolors with this one. It's perfect just the way it is. This drops from Argus the Unmaker on Mythic Difficulty, which is the final boss of the raid. Is it wrong that I kind of want to brush its teeth? The Pond Nettle is a brand new fishing mount. I'm not sure exactly how you're going to get it, but the flavor text says it can live in space, so use your imagination. This is an aquatic mount just like Cosmoth's Fathom Dweller, so if you have that, you'll know what to expect. I do wish that they'd buff the swim speed of these to at least match the Underlight Angler Shark form so I could actually use them. The Lucid Nightmare is my favorite out of this list. It's a unicorn like the Dream Runner that I still don't have, but this one is in shadow colors. As a Shadow Priest, I'm pretty sure that I medically need this. It drops from the Puzzler's Desire, which people are speculating is a similar deal to the Riddler's Mindworm. Nobody knows just yet. How puzzling. The Dark Moon Dirigible officially made me go Google how to pronounce Dirigible. I'm still not convinced that I'm doing it right. This is a brand new Dark Moon Fair flying mount that will make masses of people go do those dailies again. I will be among them. Right now on the PTR, this will set you back 1,000 tickets, which is a big step up from the 180 we paid for the Bear and the Strider mounts. The Violet Spellwing has been heavily requested ever since we flew with Khadgar to assault the Broken Shore. This is rewarded from the Blood of a Titan quest, which is presumably at or near the end of the 7.3 campaign. This bird is just beautiful, and while it's only available in Violet now, I really hope that we see some more colors in future patches. Last, the Light Forged Warframe. This is a reputation mount available off a of vendor once you've reached Exalted with a new Army of Light faction. That half million gold price tag is marked as placeholder, so it's hard to say how much this bad boy will set you back when the patch goes live. I wouldn't be surprised if it stays pricey though. It's literally gold. It's not that big of a stretch to say that it's also a gold sink. So I know that I said that was the last one and that there were 28, but they just keep coming and I got one more to show you. This is the Luminous Starseeker. This is like a shadowy petal kitty and there's a matching pet and I super need it. I'm hearing that it changes color, which makes me think that this could be a store mount and pet combo. 
It's been a little bit since we've seen a shop mount, so maybe that's what this is. So those are the 28 new mounts coming in patch 7.3. Lately, they've been hitting the PTR hard and fast, so it's totally possible that there will be even more before the patch goes live. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Please consider leaving a like if you liked it and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.